An isolation room extractor is in every room and the hallway of the isolation ward. It purifies the air, kills the virus and the bacteria, and then releases purified air outside. Um, the reason why it's, it's taking the air outside is to create a negative pressure, because you don't want anything leaving the space. The installation of the extractor has been done by Marwat Enterprise. Owner Elvis Murray Watkins explains how the equipment works. They have a pre-filter here. Um, this filter would capture the dirt as the air is pulled in under the machine. It will pass through this filter, a HIPAA filter, then another pre-filter, then it's zapped by these UV lights, and then another HIPAA filter, and then at this stage the air is purified. The windows and doors and the material used on the floor and walls prevent any possibility of the virus escaping if there is a case there. The windows are totally sealed, the doors also, special epoxy, that's what we call it would be hospital grade, hospital standard. It doesn't hold germs, stuff like that, even the paint on the wall. He has this advice for the populace. It was really quite labor intensive, it was some tough work. And um, I mean, I hope that we Antiguans, we can appreciate the work that went into this and, you know, just, just try to make it easy for all of, all of us. A nurse's station is also located on the ward. Great care will also be taken by doctors and nurses working in the facility. Upon entering the facility, they go directly to this area to change into their protective clothing before going into the patient area. After treating patients, there's also a special area where they disrobe. This area also has a sealed exit door for collection of the used protective clothing. A morgue is also located in the unit. The quarantine and isolation wards are interconnected. This hallway leads to the quarantine unit where if a patient is confirmed positive, they can be taken directly to isolation. Sherilyn Beza reporting for ABS News.